Hi, this is Sophia Young from Mistral AI. In this video, we'll talk about how to do function calling with Mistral AI with four simple steps. Function calling allows Mistral models to connect to external tools like user-defined functions, external APIs, and other tools we may include in the future. In this video, we'll show you a very simple example of how to answer payment-related questions using tools we define. At a glance, there are four steps involved with function calling. Step one is for user to specify tools and query. Users can define whatever tools they like. For example, a payment status tracking tool and a payment date tracking tool. Users also need to provide a query, for example, what is the status of my payment? Then we pass both the tools and the user query to Mr. Model. Step two is for our model to generate function arguments. Based on the user query, our model will be able to figure out that we should use the tool payment status with the function parameter transaction ID equals T1001. Now we know which function to run and the parameter for the function. Users can execute the function to get the results. For example, the status of this payment is paid. Then our model takes all the previous conversations and generate a final answer. According to the information available, your transaction with ID T1001 has been paid. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Okay, hopefully now you have a good understanding of how function calling works. Let's take a look at this notebook together. Before we get started, we need to install all the needed packages. Let's first assume we have a data frame of payment transactions. Let's create this pandas data frame. The idea is that when users ask questions about this data frame, they can use certain tools to extract information from this data. Step one of function calling is for users to specify tools and query. You can define whatever tool you like for your use case. In our simple example, let's define two functions as two tools retrieve payment status to retrieve payment status from the data based on transaction ID and retrieve payment date to retrieve date information. Next, in order for Mr. Models to understand these tools, we need to outline the function specs with a JSON schema. Let's list all the tools in the list. For each tool, we need to define the type of the tool, in this case is a function, the function name, our first function is retrieve payment status, description of the function, and the parameter of the function. It's also important to define the description of the parameters and also which parameter is required so that our model can figure out the right value for the required parameter. And then when we do the same function specs for the second function, retrieve payment date, then we can organize these functions into a dictionary. The keys are the function names, and values are the function with the DF defined. This allows us to call the function easier in later steps. In addition to the function, users also need to provide a user query. For example, what is the status of my payment? We use this chat message method to format our messages and add it in a list called messages. This is where we store all the messages and give it to the model. The second step is for our model to generate function arguments. In this step, we use the Mistral Python client to call our API. You will need to get the API key from our website. Navigate to API keys, click create new key, and you will be able to create an API key. And then we need to define the model, messages, and the tools. The result returns the assistant message. I need the transaction ID to check the status. Could you please provide me with the transaction ID? This is because our function requires a transaction ID. That's why our Mr. Model is asking for it. We add this message to the messages list and add a user message telling the model that my transaction ID is T1001. Now you can see three messages, the user message, the system message, and another user message. Let's run the model again with these messages and the tools we defined. We can see the model returns the information about the tool calls. It tells us the name of the function we should run and the arguments for the function. Again, we add this message to the messages list. 
Step three is for users to execute this function to obtain two results. Currently, it's up for the users to execute these functions. Let's first extract some useful function information from the previous model response. Let's define the tool calls response as tool call and get the function name and function params. We can see that our Mr. Model has chosen to use the function retrieve payment status with the parameter transaction ID T1001. Now let's execute this function with the function name and function parameter, and we get the result status paid. Let's append this message again to the messages list and passing all the five messages to the Mr. Model. And we get the customized final response for this specific user query. The status of your transaction with ID T1001 is paid. So that's it for function calling. Hope you find it helpful. See you next time. Bye.